What up, farm? We're back again. And me and Alex are about to go and spray some paddocks. All right, so Alex is sitting in her seat, got her seatbelt on, nice and safe. Got her arm on the armrest, and her snacks. <laughs> yep, got your arm on your armrest. Good job. Uh, we are currently spraying knockdowns on barley ground. So we're actually driving to the paddock at the moment. You can see by these tracks, we've had a bit of rain. Um, but anyway, we're gonna keep tracking on. There's a few showers hanging around. Hopefully they don't stop us, but anyway. No, it's all right, it'll be what it'll be. And we're gonna get some stuff done. Don't know if you can see that, Alex, but it's raining a little bit. Looks like we might be sat here for a while. It's not much, but I just don't want it to get any heavier. Hmm. This is the part of spraying I find very tricky, knowing when it's clear, when the conditions are clearly right to go, or clearly not right to go, it's easy. But when they're borderline, that's when it's hard. All right, so we parked up the nitro back over there. We uh, ended up the shower that came through that we waited for didn't take very long, but we got talking on the phone um, while we were waiting, and. Then it dried out, then we kept talking on the phone and kept spraying, and now we're finished. <laughs> so you missed all that. But anyway, we're going back to the house and later on I'll hop back on the cedar. Here on the sprayer, putting down some Trefland and Overwatch pre-emergent. Dad's just gone behind those trees, but he's over there sewing. And I had a bit of a dilemma this morning. So my dilemma was um, this pat this spray mix has got Overwatch in it. I was trying to suck 65 liters out of the Enviro drum. Um, Overwatch is, it looks like iced coffee. It looks like very, very thick iced coffee. Um, and it's hard to see how much has come out of the drum. Now, I don't know whether I was looking in the wrong spot or whether I wasn't concentrating hard enough. But uh, when I thought it might have been long enough, I gave the drum a bit of a shake. And to my surprise, there was no Overwatch left in the drum. Rather than sucking 65 litres out, I'd sucked 110 litres out. So, <laughs> that was not ideal. But anyway, what I was able to do is cut my water rate in half. So rather than doing 100 litres of water per hectare, I've gone back to, well actually 60. Um, and just spread that, that overwatch over more hectares. Um, so it's not ideal, now I, and I, I put more of the other products in the tank as well, just so that the amount of hectares that the Overwatch will do, there's enough of the other product in the tank too. So it's a bit of a dilemma, but easy to rectify, um, just a genuine mistake by me, <laughs> but anyway. That's all right. So what I was able to do was switch off every second nozzle so that I don't have to go at an exorbitantly high speed. And um, that helps me keep my pressure up on that gauge and keep my water rate down nice and low. So yeah, it's a bit of something different, but it's all, all going all right at the moment. All right, so we just got that paddock done just there. This paddock that we're in at the moment, which is just whoop, just there. We're gonna do that 
in a while and then we'll do this paddock over here too. Um, the reason I'm not going on to them right now is because we've got Treflan in the mix or Trifluralin, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that's best to be incorporated or worked in, covered with dirt as soon as possible after spraying. So once we're finished that other paddock, I'll spray this paddock. Once we've finished this paddock, I'll spray the next paddock. So yeah, that's why we're doing what we're doing. turn to get on the cedar. Here we go. And we are sowing planet barley. Look at that flagpole. She's uh, getting a bit of a bend on. It's getting a bit windy out there. I, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, if that breaks off in some of this wind we're going to get over the next few days. Right, so you probably can't see it. Oh, you can actually. It's just a little bit of misty sort of rain coming in. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cold out there. I haven't knocked out for about 10 hectares, but I probably should. Just check everything over. Um, this paddock hasn't been sown. I got sown lightly last year. But it's taken a fair bit of pulling. Um, it's just compacted down low because there's been sheep on it for so long. It's my thoughts. But anyway, we're getting it done. There's rain coming in tomorrow night, and we'll have most of our barley done before then. Still going along out here, and the misty rain is definitely coming in quite sideways. Uh, it's wet enough and we can see it on the box now. The bar looks a bit wet. And there's even a little bit I can see on the windscreen. Nearly got this paddock finished. You can see that white tank up there. This paddock is the white tank paddock. And as you can also see by that flag, it's quite a wind outside. It's blowing pretty heavy. Still in that misty sort of rain. That's the end of another paddock. Right, we've got an issue here. We're all blocked up with straw and mud. I've got onto another paddock and it's, it's wetter. I think the issue might have been that I caught a piece of wire, a piece of barbed wire there, but anyway, we'll do our best to unblock it. Well, that was quite the process. It took me 
best part of half an hour to unblock that. It was blocked up, that's for sure, and there was a lot of old barbed wire in that. Right, what up farm? I'm back again. So Dad, the paddock that I started last night, Dad finished this morning. Today's Sunday. I was on sound at church today, so I was doing that. Now I've just filled up and I'm he heading to Chrissy's, but we're having a bit of a traffic jam. That's just started sewing. I'm still doing my second headland. Yeah, there's only one section supposed to be on. They'll all come on eventually. I just went around the dam, so no need to stress. What a lovely evening for spraying it is. Um, so the weather forecast says that tomorrow we're 100% chance of rain with possible falls around 15 to 20 mils. So that sounds pretty promising really. Um, proof will be in the pudding but it sounds like we'll get something. Alright, we can see up here that I've done most of the paddock. This down here is Dad. He's doing 7.5 k's an hour. He's just about to come out from behind that tree over there. Um, and what you'll notice here is in this corner, there is a ton of trees and I haven't done any spraying in there. Well, I'm gonna fold the ends in and um, only spray with half the boom. So I've turned the outside sections off so that they won't spray. And now we're just going to spray with half the boom so that we fit everywhere in around all those trees. probably thought that I made that look a lot harder than it needed to be well you're yeah, right it's uh it's a lot of little passes in there but we got it done you can do it with the full 36 meter boom but there's just a lot going on because as you would have seen there's a lot of undulation and a lot of tight fits between trees so um yeah when I got the time it's just easier to do it with half the boom all right, we're all finished spraying. Dad's just out here sewing. We'll do a quick drive by, make sure he's getting on all right. It's like having my own personal drone that doesn't have to fly. There he is, sewing along. Not even a wave. Oh, you got a thumbs up. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's good fun. Just on my way back home now and um, just playing with the screen and I flipped over to this coverage map. This is what Dad's done so far. Oh, kangaroos. It'd be interesting to hit one of them in, you know, tractor. Anyway. Um, this is Dad's coverage map that he's done, that's updating live as we go. We can see, see he's doing 8Ks there now, um, and that's how much he's done. And those are the trees that I struggled with. Anyway, I've never really played around with it much, but that's very cool. I really like it. 